We want to introduce you now to a photo exhibit at the Dulles International Airport outside Washington, D.C. The photos in the exhibit and its corresponding book highlight some of the most historic sites and landscapes in the United States. VOA's Julie Tabo joined the National Geographic photographer who captured the images as he revisited some of his favorite sites in Virginia. Here's Julie and her chat with On Assignment's Lisa Vora. The picture was taken right about here. Photographer Kenneth Garrett was given the assignment of a lifetime to photograph some of the most historic and sacred sites and landscapes in America. He traveled from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, the site of the bloodiest battle of the American Civil War, through Maryland and West Virginia to the home of Thomas Jefferson, America's third president, in Charlottesville, Virginia. The 290-kilometer route is called the Journey Through Hallowed Ground National Heritage Area because many historians believe more history was made there than any other region in the country. Tell me a little bit about some of the sites that he took pictures of, their historical significance and also spiritual significance. Yes, so uh, his assignment was of course to not only capture historic sites, but also everything from parks and trails, scenic routes, but also places that had a lot of sacred meaning. So Indian burial sites, um, of course the battlefields of Antietam and Gettysburg. The site of the battle many consider a major turning point in the war. To me it was really, really moving to stand there on the edge of the forest where Robert E. Lee told his soldiers to walk out into that wheat field and just be mowed down by cannons and guns. What did he exactly do to recreate that moment so that the person who sees the picture understands this is the significance? Well, that was something that, of course, I think any artist, and especially photographers, you know, that's what it's all about. Right. And he even said to me when we met in person and also in interviews on the phone and on camera that a good picture can be done technically beautifully, you know, composition and framing and all of that. Right. But really, each picture, he said, especially for the book and the exhibit at the airport, had to have meaning. Another place with spiritual significance is the Oatlands Plantation near Leesburg, Virginia, that had the largest slave population in the region. Kenneth said, yes, I could have just gone and shot this beautiful house, but it was this house that was just looming, and it could have been really any mansion, but he walked around and he walked around and he kind of assessed it and said, I want to get the gardens. I want to be able to be in a spot where we get a perspective on the house and the land, the beautiful gardens around it. And so there was reason why he chose where he chose to shoot. Much of the hallowed ground route is also known and being preserved for its spectacular natural beauty, like this valley not far from the Oatlands Plantation. Many of the houses in this valley date to the late 1700s, more or less the same time as the American Revolution. I noticed that you interviewed him in different spots, which I thought is what made this story better than others. What made you decide to go to different areas to interview him in front of the pictures that he took? Right, and that's a good question because, you know, as you know, pre-production is everything with these stories. Okay. So I was going back and forth quite a lot, not, um, not, not even so much with Kenneth, but the people involved with the Hallowed Ground project. And so a lot of emails back and forth about which areas within a few miles of each other can we go to. And what we decided is to go to three sites and compare and contrast the photographs from the book and from the exhibit okay. and try to replicate. And of course, you have to understand, Lisa, the weather conditions. It was about a 30 mile an hour wind, really icy and snowy. And it was bad enough for me to walk around with a book, but I had my cameraman with a tripod on the camera on his shoulders, slipping and sliding through the ice and the wind. But we were able to put Kenneth's mic, we buried it deep inside. A journey through hallowed ground runs from Monticello, where Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence that began our nation. Do you think that this kind of project, his project in particular, helps young people want to learn more about their history. Absolutely. I think one of the reasons they're doing this, yeah. there's many reasons. Um, one is to just inform Americans anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Another is to inform visitors. The, one of the reasons they have it, they have the exhibit at Dulles Airport is because millions of visitors right. are passing through this airport. People can read the book, yeah. look at the exhibit at the airport, his website. And if you live here, you can just take the book and go on the journey. Just 
meeting Kenneth, looking at the photographs, talking with him, and yeah. with the passion that he has about the history of this area. Yeah. It inspired me to take my family last weekend to Upperville, Virginia. Yeah. We went to a tavern there that's been there around for a couple of hundred years. So it is for people like you and I, yeah. it's never too late to learn more about right. the places that we're living in, but it's also for the students. Yeah. And that's really one of their main objectives, is to get young people interested in history. And when they know more about their history, they're more likely to have an investment in saving their history.